Okay, but if you're like most people, you you probably don't want to paint in here. It's, it is good. It's effective. It can work. You go to the brush and you go to attributes. And you got uh, a lot of different brush settings here. And the size and the shape and everything. And like I said, it's like, it's very similar to, uh, well, not that similar to Photoshop in a way. You got your layers. And you can uh, group those layers or layer set. So you can get folders and whatnot. And you can actually even save in a Photoshop format. <coughs> but um, usually you just want to export the file so you can paint it in a 2D program and export back to that 2D program onto your model. So let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, right, let's just go ahead and clear this layer. Select all, delete. Oops. And then just okay here we go there we go okay so we've uh, alright we've deleted everything now what we want to do is go back to our brush tool and usually we're gonna out what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline the polygons <coughs> and you don't actually have to have that applied to your model to do that if I remember correctly so we go back to our brush we want a small brush I found that a size of three works pretty good, and uh, the shape or the profile as a needle, so it's nice and fine, but it's not really uh, hard. Like if we go to one, actually it'll be really hard, just like that. So this three is a pretty good size. <coughs> go to our object. Go to, go to polygons. We select all those polygons. And we go back to our layer here, so we can see it. Well, it's not on the object, but we can see our polygons right here and our image. We just go to Layer, Outline Polygons, and it will outline all those polygons. Oops, just undid that. All right. So if we uh, deselect our object, now you can see the outline is underneath it right there. So what we want to probably do is just save that. Right clicking, you can go to texture. <coughs> you can save texture or save texture as. If we go to save texture, it's going to ask us as what format. Which this is the same as going to save texture as, unless you have already saved it. It'll ask you the format. TIFF, I don't think, I think TIFF may support transparency. I think it indeed does. And then target, which you'd probably use for Maya. And of course, good old Photoshop. Yeah, depending on your needs, you, I mean, all you need right now is just the UV. So it doesn't matter if it's flat or transparent or not. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, save that as a PSD file. We can go ahead and name that uh, tutorial body there. And usually, it's good to indicate the size also. Yeah, it's usually always square at least. That's the way I like to keep it, mainly because UVs are mapped from 0 to 1, as I explained um, sometime way earlier. So we're going to actually open up Photoshop here. We can see the result. Of course, it'll be off screen, so I'll have to readjust it just a little bit. There's Photoshop. Now we have to do is bring up our image. So we navigate to our folder. In this case, I already have it open. Drag and drop it into there. And if we control click and get an outline of selections, you can barely see it. Usually, what I'd like to do is go to the blending options. And just kind of give it color overlay. Maybe like a deep blue is usually what I use. You can use whatever color you want. And then an outline I should have just stayed in that window. Outer glow. You can use a white outer glow. Depending on your needs. So if we zoom in, you can see there there they are. So there's our UVs. We can get a new layer here. And probably a background would probably be fairly good. And we can start uh, Start messing around, start building our texture up inside of Photoshop. 
<laughs> so, by the way, we can still see our, uh, our outlet. This, our UV is right, right there. You probably want to make this a little bit more round because that's where the head is, but uh, there it is. <laughs> so, that pretty much covers UV mapping and whatnot. Uh, when you actually go to apply your texture, remember that you may want to change down here from this object properties inside the hypernerm if you smooth it change that from this to this, this Catmull Clark and change the subdivide UVs from standard to you probably can't see it here <coughs> boundary or edge edge seems to be work, work pretty good for the most part and that, that's how it is, determines how it subdivide, subdivides the UVs so uh, Happy UV mapping, I suppose. It's really not that bad, but uh, it's it's something that would be nice if you didn't have to do. But there it is. It's like you have to model your whole model all over again in 2D. Basically, all it is. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if my answers are seem to be like I guess you can't quite understand them, then you can always ask ask questions about my answers. And I can answer those questions also. So um, just uh, let me know. I'm, I'm going to be starting. Oops, I'm going to be starting uh, back into school here pretty soon. So I may not be available for the most time, but I, I'll try to get to get to get to whoever when I can. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much.